Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the makeup, it's been a long day. It's been a very long day. This is my fourth moving vlog, which is pretty insane. I'm gonna start this off with a little mini haul, basically showing you guys what I've picked up recently. I went to Home Goods today and also Target because my bedroom doesn't have lights and I needed like a cheap lamp to give me some type of light. So that's what I'm doing. And then later on today, I'm going to unbox the racks of my boxes. I'm gonna be productive. We're the star of the show in this house tour. Good job, Mill. Okay, too cool for me, I see. So I got this wall hanging from Target for 20, like five bucks or $23 or something like that. It was a steal, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing I got from Home Goods this adorable fake like succulents and everything like that because I can't keep anything alive. And this was only $20. Why are trash cans so damn expensive at Target? I don't really know. So I got this one from Home Goods. It's like not even that good of quality, but I don't really care for $13. This is an essential for anyone who has an iPhone. A long cord will be very useful for you. $15. For a girl who lives alone, these things are really nice. These are glass storage if you don't want to have all those Tupperware because realistically I don't cook that much, but when I do, I like to have something for my leftovers. Cookie sheets are always a staple. This was $6. I got new pillows by the brand Beyond Down Luxury Size Pillow Twin Pack for I think $25, maybe, yeah, $25. And they are very squishy. I don't like firm pillows, so this was perfect. I'm also getting my Amazon nail polish racks coming in the mail today to store my sunglasses on, so that will be exciting. So I just got these like acrylic nail polish racks in from Amazon, and I'm trying to decide where I should put them. This is one of the options. It's like in between my room and my bathroom. I'm kind of thinking this because it fits perfectly right there. But like, I feel like this wall would be useful for something and so I don't really want to put it there. This is originally where I thought I was going to put it. Or there's like in my closet, but I feel like once again, like this wall could be used for like a shoe rack or something. So look at how good it looks. I'm really so glad that I ended up hanging it here. It looks amazing. Just it's like a freaking store in here. I forgot to tell you guys something to add to the series of unfortunate events. My dad, while moving, shattered my TV on accident, so now I have to get a new one. But I'm kind of thinking that this size is going to be so perfect, but I'm thinking like a cow skull right up there. Typical. So I've been so bad at vlogging, but it has been a shit storm here basically. Miller's sick. Um, there's parts of vlogging that you don't really want to share with the camera because you want to share every the all the happy parts of your life with the camera, not so much like the struggles. But um, unfortunately, I'm a very real person. Well, this move has been absolutely miserable. I have had a lot of bad things happen to me. A lot of things I don't want to go into. It's okay. Miller woke up yesterday morning with diarrhea. So I'm trying to take care of that. I'm taking him to the vet in 10 minutes. So hopefully he feels better, but it's really shitty. Literally really shitty. So it's a while later. Miller is thankfully okay. They think it's just stress. Um, obviously I didn't vlog at the vet because that's just really awkward. And the vet was so nice. So I decided to go to Five Points. I researched it a lot, like animal hospital. So I'm excited about them. It was a little pricey, but I'm one of those people that like, I don't care about how much I'm gonna spend on my dog because my dog health is way more important than material things. But I got a few things in the mail today. So the first thing I got, Luma RX system, and I'm super excited about this. This really cool trolley. No, I'm just kidding. That was just to move everything up. I got a new TV. This was not an expense I was expecting because I had a perfectly fine TV until I moved, so I had to get a new TV, and this is the one that was on sale at Target, so this is the one I got. I got a new rug, guys. I'm very excited. It says, I got this on overstock.com, but um, if you want the information, here is the information. I don't know what it is about pink. I always buy pink stuff, and I'm not a pink person, but I just love pink, like interior. Like, this is pink. This is not my favorite color ever, but I love this thing, so just happened to work that way, I guess. I know what you're thinking. Sarah, you don't even like pink. I don't, but I love this rug, you guys. I found this rug on overstock.com. I saw it after looking at rugs forever, and I was just like, that's the one. I don't know why. 
I really love it. I honestly don't know if I could have picked a better rug to match this. Um, I'm super excited. I'm thinking of getting a cowhide rug because this is a lot of pink for me and like a white cream colored one and putting it on top of it just to kind of like tote it down a lot but that's kind of like what my plan was. This rug was so cheap that I couldn't pass it up and it's just, ugh, it's gorgeous. Like this is something I feel like I could have in my collection and someday when I have a girl, put it in her like nursery or something. Are you feeling better, Mill? You seem like you're feeling better, considering you're bringing that damn ball to me again. And the shit luck continues, guys. Jesus. I have to go to Target right now to return my TV because guess what came shattered? You guessed it, my brand new TV. Hopefully Target has a good return policy or else I'm, for lack of a better word, fucked. Hey guys, so welcome back. It is now Thursday, the 27th or something like that and today I'm super excited because I'm going to Hobby Lobby and Walmart I know it might be like the most like redneck thing you've probably heard in a while but whenever I lived in California we had like no Walmart and I like kind of miss it because everything is so freaking cheap and while I'm out I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby I haven't been to a Hobby Lobby in forever they have such good like little knickknacks and stuff and just crafts I love Michaels in Hobby Lobby but Hobby Lobby is my favorite team Hobby Lobby forever and then I'm going to Zaxby's because I'm about to start my period and homegirl wants something unhealthy because I've been really good about eating pretty healthy like I learned to make an acai bowl. So I was like, you know, Sarah, treat yourself, get you some fried food. And that is what I'm going to do. My hair is just a mess, but it is what it is. But I forgot to mention, I got my new TV finally set up. Target took it back. And I actually put these things up that I got from Target. They were like $30. And I was like, that's a good like temporary filler um, in case it takes me a while to find things. Cause it typically does. Cause that's just who I am. I'm about to head out. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my jelly t-shirt from Show Me Your Mimu. These are like, this is like my go-to uniform basically. These jeans by Levi's and then my, what is my Velcro shoes? Whatever. Um, my hair is second day hair. So we're gonna go roll out to Hobby Lobby and Zaxby's and Walmart guys. I might like this. I don't know why I'm like this. It is the simple luxury, guys, of having Hobby Lobby over there and Zaxby's behind me, so I don't even have to like change places. Like this is this is a sign that I went to the right place. So let's go feed my face, my Zaxby's. But now we're gonna head into Hobby Lobby. Sorry, I didn't vlog in Zaxby's. Homegirl was hungry. Oops, I dropped receipt, but look at I found these I think I'm gonna get some because they're only seven dollars and then they're 50% off so that's like a steal they're so cute I'm a little sad because I feel like this place is a little overpicked but whatever I'm just gonna roll with it this aisle's making me really excited though for my friends to get married because this is like that kind of stuff I really love this one it's only like $35 because it's 50% off but I don't have anywhere to hang it so Continuing on. But I found gas for a dollar ninety-eight. There's a fellow Grand Cherokee right over there. But anyway, just set up for Hobby Lobby. Got a ton of stuff for like a hundred dollars. So it was a steal basically. I got like two items of furniture. I mean they're not the greatest quality thing, but I'm like, it will do. Um and plus I just kinda wanted to cover something with like a blanket. So I didn't really care what my desk chair looked like as long as it was comfortable and I found one for like 60 bucks. I forgot to say earlier that I decided not to go to um, Walmart right away. Since Miller was at, like sick yesterday and the day before, I wanted to go check on him before I did anything else. Yeah, so I picked up a lot of stuff. I got all that stuff in my cart from uh, Hobby Lobby for a hundred and like thirty dollars. That's a bargain. So I actually just picked up this chair from Hobby Lobby. A hundred dollars marked down with the thirty percent off to make it seventies. The next thing I got was this table for where's the tag? It's on the oh, it's over there. But it was forty dollars, which I thought it was really cute because it's like the reclaimed wood look. Um, 
and I liked it because it kind of ties in all the colors. The next thing I got was this little cow skull, which I thought was really cute and really small. And this was like $7, I think, with 50% um, off. So I actually got this to go. So I actually got this little skull to put there, and I think it looks so cute. I could even have gotten a bigger one, but I think that looks just fine. So I've got like a few craft things. Um, I want to paint the bottom legs of that fur chair that I got, um, but I want them to be like this color, so I guess I'll go to Michael's later when I go to Walmart or something like that and look for paint this color because I think that would look really, really cool. I fail at vlogging, but I posted a video yesterday, which was Monday, and I asked you guys if I should continue these vlogs and you guys gave me an overwhelming support so I was like, okay, I'll continue with them. I don't know where I le last left off, but we're gonna go to Home Goods today. Today is Tuesday and I went to Home Goods, I'm pretty sure last Monday and I need a few things I don't really want to spend money on, so obviously Home Goods is the best place to go for that. And the best one is in Mount Juliet or Juliet, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's the best uh, home goods that I've gathered. I've been to all three of them. <laughs> I did not go to the gym this morning because I went the past two days and my legs needed to like recover. So that's what's new here. I'm gonna do my best to vlog at 11.30. I already ate lunch and everything like that because I didn't eat breakfast and we're gonna just go to home goods. This stagecoach playlist right now is like my favorite thing ever. So go follow this. I don't know who it is, but it's good. I don't know if you guys can see this guy walking in the background. You can kind of see him. I don't know, rocking back there. He just told me he loved me. So I think things are getting pretty serious out here in Nashville, Tennessee. I always forget to freaking vlog whenever I'm inside Home Goods. I don't know why it's always Home Goods that I forget to vlog in, but I do. So I apologize for that. But I did get a few things. I could still not find a trash can. Holy shit, that thing is blasting. I couldn't find a trash can, which is annoying because like every home goods in LA has like a billion trash cans and so I refuse to pay like the ridiculous prices of like Target trash cans. The adults struggle guys. Ugh. So right now I'm gonna go get a Diet Coke. <gasps> I'm addicted. So in the part I'm from in Kentucky, we don't have books a million, but I didn't realize they're trying to advertise it now. It's BAM! That's interesting. Okay, apparently everyone in Nashville is in this parking place, but um, Traded Max is over there. I need a freaking garbage can. I'm determined to find one, so wish me luck. It's been a successful day of shopping, clearly. That's a really good TJ Maxx, so Berry Hill TJ Maxx, y'all. It's where it's at. I'm back, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions on where these sunglasses are from. These ones are from Miu Miu, so I'll do my best to link those in the description box. So I just got back from Home Goods and TJ Maxx, did some damage, and I'm gonna show you guys um, what I picked up. Starting off with my exciting purchase from Home Goods, I got one of these things because I made macaroni and cheese the other night, and I realized shit. I don't have one of those things. This was like $7. I didn't know how I was gonna store my makeup, but I think I got this um, to store my makeup in my extra closet. This was like OG YouTube when everybody used to use these for makeup storage. I got this exciting trash can from TJ Maxx for $30. Woo. Then I also picked up this pillow. This pillow was a bargain. It was like, Twelve dollars, I'm pretty sure. Isn't that pretty? Oh my god, guys, this stuff is really exciting. I got sponges and one of these like things for the kitchen. Being an adult is so fun. I got a new, like just at, like a nice sized uh, pot. Thirteen dollars. I could go to TJ Maxx and Home Goods any day and be completely content with it. Like that's my favorite thing to do is to go explore the new stuff at. Home. Then I got this shoe rack for. $10, I'm pretty sure, from a TJ Maxx, guys. This is a deal. So that's all I got today, that's, ew, that's all. So now I'm just gonna go and clean my apartment because I desperately need to, like take, oh, that's embarrassing. So yeah, I'm gonna go clean. <laughs> okay, so I just got back from Michael's and Home Depot. I picked up this four foot, like, steak thing. Um, and I'm gonna make my own wall hanging for a pier. 
Um, I'm gonna keep these, don't worry, but I just don't think they're gonna go there. So I picked up a bunch of yarn. I found something on Pinterest basically showing me how to make my own wall hanging. So that's what I'm gonna do. With all of the colors I got. Some more of that, some of this. Ugh, I think it's gonna look really cool though. So wish me luck. It could completely fail. If it does look good, I will link um, the tutorial I used in the description box. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna try to DIY. So the first thing I did was I basically measured how long I want the pieces to be. And so I measured basically the length of this. Um, and this ended up being 30 inches. So I ended up cutting like 37 inch pieces and well, whatever 37 is times two. And I cut that. So that is what this is gonna do. And I'm gonna cut the rest of the pieces to be this length. So we're making progress. It is now, today is the Wednesday, the 3rd, I think. Whoa, it's May, I can't believe it because I started filming these videos when it was like March, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I finished this. It's a little uneven, so I gotta like fix that up and everything like that, but it was super duper easy. I really like it. I feel like it's a good like temporary kind of thing or maybe permanent, who really knows? But a good temporary thing to just kind of fill a space because I really like it. I think it turned out really nice. Like there's a few details in it. Like I tied some knots in it. I tied a bunch of braids with like this thinner string. Um, yeah, so it looks really, really cool. Super duper easy, just use nails to hang it. But today I went to Taco Mamacita with a fellow vlogger out here in Nashville. And it was so good. Guys, they have sloppy Joe tacos. Yes, yes please. It was so delicious, but um, I wanted to end the vlog. So I ended this vlog yesterday, but instead I wanted to end it today. I got something exciting today in the mail that I've been waiting for for a while. And basically there's no Ikea near Nashville. I think the closest one is either Cincinnati or Atlanta. And I wasn't trying to go there. So I ordered my mirror from Modern Nash, which this is not sponsored. I'm just telling you where I got it, but basically they like go to Atlanta and then pick up stuff like whatever you order and then deliver it if you choose to deliver it. You can pick it up from the place, but personally this mirror was way too big. Just look at it. It looks so good. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> okay. If you are looking to get your lashes done in Nashville, Tennessee, then I definitely recommend Lash Out. They're not paying me to say this. Once again, I feel like I have to always say that. I get mine done by Danielle. She does an amazing job. So if you guys are interested, I'll put all their information in the description. I think you can like DM them on Instagram to set up an appointment and it's a very reasonable price compared to LA. So in the volume, I think for a fill is like 65. So that's gonna conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure you stick around by subscribing, hit this button, right here on the screen it would mean so much to me and then also you can check out the other video that i have linked right here on the screen as well and um i hopefully will continue these vlogs because you guys seem to really really enjoy them give it a thumbs up until next time 